Just the glasses. What, you thought you'd get to second base after the first lesson? Let's take it slow so you can concentrate. Variables are common throughout every programming language. You should remember them from math class, like x plus y equals 10. x and y are variables, unless you were too busy hiding your boner during algebra class. In any program, you have to keep track of stuff. Like we're building a dating website, we need to keep track of my age, sexual preference, turn-ons, favorite movies, and things like that. We put info like this into variables. A variable is just a container for a value. That value can vary, hence the name variable. We're going to start writing code in our script.js file. Let's create a variable. Do this by writing the keyword var, then the name of our variable, which can be anything you want, but make it somewhat related to what it's going to hold. We'll do age and then a semicolon. Ending statements and variable declarations with a semicolon isn't required in JavaScript, but you should do it anyway. It'll keep you organized and out of trouble, kind of like wearing protection. JavaScript is a loosely typed language. You can stick anything you want into a variable. Get your mind out of the gutters, boys. It means you don't have to specify whether the value will be an integer or a string. In strongly typed languages like C and Java, you have to specify the type of variable you're creating. In JavaScript, there are a few rules for variable names. They can contain letters, numbers, underscores, and the dollar sign. They can't start with a number. Now, we need to assign a value to our variable like this. Age equals 21, which may or may not be my age. A shorter way to do this is just set the value when you declare the variable, like var age equals 21, all on the same line. JavaScript is case sensitive, so age and age would be different variables. You can declare multiple variables on one line with commas instead of separate lines like var equals age, sex, location. You can also set their values at the same time. For all you youngins out there, this is how we used to do things on AOL. Don't stalk me, bro. Back to script.js for an example. We have var a equals 350 and var b equals 70. Then we set a new variable called total to a plus b. The total value would be set to 420. We use console.log to output this value to the console. Just write console.log and then the variable total in parentheses. Now, go back to the HTML page and hit refresh. You'll see that the value has been output to the console. Once you get some mad programming skills from Code Babes lessons, you'll use console.log all the time to debug code. In programming, the plus sign is called an operator. You can also use minus, star for multiplying, and forward slash for dividing. A lot of times, a variable appears twice in a statement. Like if we do var problems equals nine, and then problems equals problems plus 90, the new problems variable would be 99. But there's a shortcut. Problems plus equals 90 would mean the same thing. You can do this with all the other operations too, minus, plus, star, you get the idea. If we want to increment a variable's value by one, there's an even better shortcut, which is plus plus. Plus plus is equivalent to plus equals one. In programming, you use this to increment a value by one, like when you're looping over an array. That sentence might sound like you're taking crazy pills, but we'll talk about loops and arrays later in this course. Next, we'll talk about conditional statements and introduce the if statement. You know, like if you make it to the next lesson, then clothing items minus minus, if you know what I'm saying.